everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I'm so glad you are here. Welcome to my channel where sparkle never goes out of style. And I have a little unboxing for you. It's uh, one of my diamond art clubs that I've had for a while and I haven't unboxed. So I was sitting thinking or thinking today, you know, what, what video should I do? And I saw this and I go, I haven't showed them this. So, um, so I hope you enjoy this. All right, everybody. Um, welcome in. Like I said, I'm so glad you are here. Grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something. Um, I'm probably going to grab some tea, uh, when we get done this with this. I don't have any hot water right now, so I'm going to wait until I'm done. But it is cold today. Today is uh, Wednesday, October 23rd, and we've had rain, and it's freezing, and um, I'm being really stubborn. I am not turning the heat on yet. I'm trying to make it till November 1st before I turn the heat on. I know, isn't that crazy? It is crazy. I guess I don't want to open this just yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. So um, this is a Diamond Art Club um, one, and I'll show you the picture. This is, this one is called Happy Flowers Blue Vase. And this is a round. And this is uh, one of their older kits. Um, it doesn't have, you know, the new tool kit or, uh, you know, anything like that. This is an older one. And that is totally okay with me. I don't mind their older kits at all. And I like their rounds. I love their squares. Definitely love, love, love their squares. But I like their rounds too. I've done several of their rounds. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. If you like this, I'm going to ask you to do me a huge favor and uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing. You can just click on this little red button right over here and you can subscribe to my channel and drop me a comment or send me an email. I always love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, it's always fun to hear from you. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to get all this opened up here. Okay, we have a toolkit. And we have the little sticker. And then we have the canvas. So this is not a really big one. Um, this is a 20 inches by 20 inches or basically a 50 by 50 centimeter. It's actually a 50.7 by 50.7. And it's by Olga, oh, I'm gonna butcher her name, Akparova. I'll show it to you when I open the canvas. And I'm so sorry, Olga, if I messed up your name. I am really, really, really bad with names. I butcher names. Um, so you can use, you know, your little sticker, you're probably already familiar with this if you've been um, working with Diamond Art Club at all. They used to provide this small sticker with their older kits. Their new kits, they don't because their new kits, they have pictures on all sides of the boxes. The long side, um, one of the short sides, and then on top. So however you stack your boxes, you're going to have a picture. Um, but this one um, I'm going to put on the side of the box so I know what's in it when I have it in my closet. So let me show you what is in the older tool kit. Uh, I think I've shown you the new tool kits. I tell you what, I love the new trays that they have. Um, I do. I absolutely love the new trays. So let's see what we have here. Um, we have... Oh, I love this. Oh, guys, check this out. They don't do cover minders anymore, but look at the dolphin. Oh, my gosh, that dolphin is gorgeous. And I do not have this. That is way cool. So I got that. Um, I got washi tape. And there are two multi-placers. There's a four and a seven. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it's a seven. Four is my favorite. I use it all the time. Um, you have a small tray that has a stopper in it. And I like these small trays. These are just fine. 
And of course you have a pen and a squishy, which is great. And you've got a heart with some wax in it. And then you also have some bags if you uh, like to kit up in bags. So that is this um, older style kit. But I do love these thin multi-placers. And I do love their new trays. Oh, their new trays are great. I am not so happy with their twist up pin. And maybe it's just me not getting used to it. I'm not certain, but I've had a hard time with that new pin. So now we can go ahead and open this. How is everybody doing today? I am doing okay. My uh, brother and sister-in-law are uh, coming into town today and we're all gonna go out to dinner. So that is gonna be fun. We're gonna go out to dinner a little bit later tonight. So let me get this the right way. Hang on a second, I gotta move all of this out of the way. Oh, it goes this way. There we go. And I love their canvases because they are self-flattening. Um, I'm gonna roll this one backwards just a little bit uh, to help it lay down flat a little bit. Or you sometimes can just pull up the corner like that and then it lays down flatter as well. There we go. Now I wanna show you too See if you can see this. Can you see the perforation here? You can kind of see it right there. So they have perforated cover sheet. Let's see if I can show it this way. I think you can, yep, you can kind of see that perforation there. So the cover sheet is perforated, which I really like. Um, I, I worked on a couple of the canvases that are perforated and I do really like that. Oh, isn't that, isn't that pretty? Well, you know, I like flowers. I like flowers. I like color. I love purple. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. This has 52 colors and it looks like there is, what, five ABs? One, two, that looks like five ABs. So we're going to look at that in just a minute. Now, it always comes with a thank you from the owner, uh, directions on how to use this, invitations to the VIP group, 20% um, uh, 20, 20 off on your first uh, purchase through the app. So that works nice, you get that. And then of course you get these. That is the artist's name. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna butcher it, so I'm just gonna say Olga. Um, you can use this in your logbook if you want. And then these are the stickers that you will kit up, that you can use when you kit up, whether you're using Elizabeth Ward or um, maybe using the art dot containers or maybe you're using the baggies that came with the kit. Um, and I always tell everybody, save these blank ones because they work great if you're working on a canvas that didn't come with stickers and then you can have stickers. So that works great. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Diamond Art Club, if you've only been doing budget friendly, these are, the canvas is tarpaulin and it's really soft, almost velvety. And um, it has the scalloped edges and the little pinholes and that prevents any fraying. Um, it also comes with a lifetime warranty um, and free missing diamond protection. Um, now, if you purchase your kit through, oh, like say Joann's or Hobby Lobby, uh, Amazon, um, a site other than um, Diamond Art Club, you're gonna need to register it with them so that you can have their warranty. Now, if you purchase on a D-Stash site, that voids the warranty, um, and if you seal your painting, that will also void the warranty because you really do not need to, to seal these paintings. I frame my diamond art clubs, so and they're under glass, so I don't, I don't seal them. 
my premiums I normally don't steal seal. So I want to see if I can bring you in as close as I can this way because I want you to see the drill field and I'm just going to kind of squish it around a little bit just so you can see just how clear and pretty it is. It's super easy to work with. Lots of color blocking here. So that's what the drill field looks like. And then I'm going to move over a little bit here so you can kind of see what the legend looks like. Now, the symbols are in letters, um, symbols, and numbers. They are not in numerical order or alpha order, um, and that's okay. So I'm going to put you back in the center, and I'm going to pull you out. There we go. I do like this one. This is very pretty. This is a nice size because it's not so big. I mean, the Diamond Art Club now I'm working on now, it's just shy of a 90 by 70, um, and it's big. It is big, big, big. Now, if you store your drills separate, they do have the label on it, which makes it nice. So anyway, I started telling you guys that I uh, trying not to turn the heat on until November. Yeah, man, is it cold? I think it was 64 degrees in the house when I woke up. That was kind of cold. I did turn on a space heater, though, just to warm up my bedroom and warm up the living room. So let's go ahead and look at some colors really quick. Now, Diamond Art Club um, packages their diamonds by weight. So that's why they're not going in like numerical order or anything like that. So look at that beautiful purple. And I need to turn my light on. Hang on just a second. Okay, this is better. I had to turn my... Um, flash on so you could see that color better and check out this beautiful AB this is my first AB and it is very very sparkly even though it's not coming across that in oh look there's a little hitchhiker in there we got a little pink one and of course lots of purple lots of purple which I love And then we've got this beautiful orange. Oh my gosh, and look at this AB. Look how sparkly that one is. That one's gorgeous too. we got a couple ABs in this section. And I'll show you where the ABs are too because that's half the fun is to know where they're at. So there is that. And then let's look at some of these. Oops. There we go. And again, look at all these colors. Isn't that one pretty, too? Oh, and we have another yellow AB, or we have an AB. This one's yellow. And we have a green one. That's beautiful. And I'm sorry, i got to put you on pause for one second. Okay, sorry about that. I know I've only gone for a second from you guys, or from your perspective, and... I was down probably 15 minutes on mine. All right, so let's just go ahead and we'll just finish looking at these drills a little bit so you can see how pretty they are. Yeah, those are pretty, pretty, pretty. It's going to be cold again tonight and tomorrow. We're supposed to have a freeze warning. It's cold, cold, cold. And there's another pink AB. That's pretty. And then the last gray. So let's take a look at the ABs. And I'm going to show you where that is. I need to get a pen. Hang on a second. Let's get a pen here so I can point. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, pretty pink one, okay? And that is color number two. So, of course, we're going to find it in the pink somewhere. And that is up through here in this flower. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. How about that? 
Okay, so we have we have it in through here and in through here and a little bit here. Oh, and then we also have it here and here. And as I'm looking that, I think that is all of the twos. Okay, so there's that one. Any more on here? Nope, no more on that section. And let's go take a look at this beautiful yellow. Now that one is color number three. And that is over here in this flower. And it is a little bit here in the center of the flowers. A couple over here, they're kind of scattered. And anywhere else? I'm trying to see in the yellows. That looks like all of that yellow. And then we have, Oh, I forgot this one. I forgot that beautiful green. I love green. Green's one of my favorite colors. And that is color number one. And that is over here in this flower over here and here and here, up here. Yeah, up through here. And hang on. Oh, down through here on these stems. And a little bit here is where that one is. So I've got those three. Got a couple more. If I remember right, this is beautiful orange. And that one is color number four. And that's going to have a whole lot more. We have fours here, fours in the center, and here and in here, pretty much all the flowers, they're dotted all over. Um, dotted in here, dotted in here. Yeah, pretty much everywhere there's orange, there is, there is this color. So it is really gonna pop. And then I, oh wow, we have, we have a big, big package of the white. And that white is color number five. And that is gonna be in all of the white flowers. So there, it's dotted all through here again. It's all in this flower and this flower, all through here, in the center here, in here, on this flower and in the center. There's a uh, white in here. Yeah, there it, it anywhere where there's white, there is uh, that A B. But I think it is so so pretty. I am really really happy with this one. I love it, and I love their logo. Do what makes you smart. Do what makes you sparkle. I do love this one. Yep, I am happy. And I really love this purple because it looks like it's in a frame, this, you know, vase of flowers. Um, so I love flowers. I think this is stunning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I have had this one for a while and I just never opened it up to show you guys. So I thought I would take this time to, to go ahead and show you. Um, again, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that will help me. Your support really helps me be able to continue to bring um, more content that you guys want to see. Oh, and also, I say this all the time, but I want to invite you to my Facebook group, which is Diamond Painting and Crafts by Tita. Um, we have a monthly theme. Um, it's not an event. I don't do events. It's just a theme to kind of help you choose what you want to work on. Like for the month of October, it's called Outrageous Orange. And it's any project that has orange in it. It doesn't have to be diamond painting. It could be coloring. It could be cross stitch. It could be like 
making Stampin' Up! type cards or, you know, stuff like that. Anything you want to do. So since this has orange in it, uh, this could be considered outrageous orange. Um, now, next month for November, it is forest animals. And forest animals um, can be broad. When you first think about it, what do you think about? You know, bears or um, wolves, raccoons, uh, skunks, um, you know, kind of foresty animals, right? But when you really think about it, you know, fairies live in the forest. So you might have a fairy. Um, maybe there's an owl that lives in the forest. Uh, maybe some trolls live in the forest. I'm not quite certain. Mushrooms live in the forest. So I'm sure you have something in your stash uh, that would probably work. Um, yeah, don't go out and buy anything special if you don't want to dig around in your stash because we all have stash and see what you can come up with, okay? Uh, so anyway, that's all I have. Just remember uh, also that you are perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing and do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time zone you guys happen to be in. Um, and, uh, I will catch you on the next one. Okay. Thank you very much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I really do greatly appreciate all of you coming by. Talk to you later. Bye everybody.